I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. As we reflect on the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, it's exciting to know that the man who paved the way for this country to truly be the land of the free lived here in Camden, New Jersey while he was a student at seminary school in Chester, Pennsylvania, just 20 minutes away from Camden. He lived in the back bedroom, which this side here is a bathroom, so he stayed directly up there and uh, lived there for a period between about September of 1948 to about um, uh, June of uh, 1951. When I first chased this story, the home was on the brink of demolition because of its poor condition. Activists in the local NAACP made it their mission to save this home. I am excited to say that the home will be saved as a historical landmark and big plans are in store. Uh, activists are reaching out to local nonprofits and also universities hoping that they will take ownership of the home. Now Patrick Duff has been on the forefront of this project and this time when I was out there he actually pointed out that in early December someone was murdered right in front of the home and he's hoping that by turning it into a beacon of light for the community that it will show Camden that there's so much potential. The vision is really so we can tell the story of Dr. King's time in this area because it's really an un untold story. I mean people know he practiced nonviolence but they don't know where he found nonviolence. Um, which was directly across the bridge on Brown Street in Philadelphia. Adiyan, what do you think? Waste of money? I hate to be the one to rain on this parade, but how are we but saving a house without allocating funds toward it when we made the decision to save that house? Where are we getting this money from? You said it yourself. You almost saved me the, the, uh, the time of asking the question about the crime in the area, the fact that there was a murder right in front of it. It seems that priorities are completely lopsided to me. I wonder that what Martin Luther King himself would say in terms of allocation of resources toward preservation or toward people in cities like this that really need help. Education teaches people respect. By having it historically preserved, people will be aware. I hope something positive comes out of it.